Hey everybody, it's Neo, and I'm trying to be healthy. I've been eating good, losing weight, whatever. And I figured I'd get myself this pulse oximeter to see like when I run and do things like, just kind of curious how my oxygen level is. I'm sure this would probably be better for uh, the medical professionals, but I thought it would be cool to try for myself. I guess it's got hemoglobin saturation, heart rate, and it even has power indicator on it too. So let's check this thing out and see what it looks like here. So we open it up. I'll show you guys as I open it. It comes with a little pouch, I guess, of the instructions. Comes with a charging wire. It looks like it's gonna be USB to USB-C. So that's kind of good. It's got newer technology. Got a little strap for it. And then here is the pulse oximeter. Is there anything under here? Nope, that's it. So that's it, box is empty. It's pretty nicely packed. Kind of cool, it's got like a magnet holding it closed, so. Okay, so let's just see if there's anything in these instructions that maybe are important before I try it out. Uh, here's the user manual here. Wow, okay, so this is the user manual. It's got a lot of stuff on it. I don't know if you guys can pause it and zoom in if you really need it. I don't know, try to find it online if you really need the instructions, but let's give this thing a try here. Um, so this is it here. Okay, I'll show you guys up close. So right over here, I guess that's gonna be the on button. This is gonna be the charger right there. If I can open it, yep, that's where I'll charge it. And then that's where the, the little lanyard will go. So let's put that in, let's see if we can figure that one out. Everything here is tiny. Actually, it's a pretty decently long string. Try this way. Boy, it doesn't mat line up. It doesn't line up with the hole there very easy. So I'm gonna have to put some sort of kink in it like this. And try again. Okay. There we go. Not too hard. And then, let me see, does this just come apart? How does it come apart? Unscrews. So you can unscrew this little part here, or I'll just leave it screwed in. I don't need to take it apart. And I'll put it through the hole. And. Can you see there? And there we go, now I got it through. Actually, it actually wasn't too bad. Okay, so now let's see, let's turn it on. I'm guessing to turn it on, we push that button. Yes, oximeter. And then there's the stuff for it. And if we look inside there, looks like the light's happening on, looks like it might be happening on both sides. You could probably put it either way. Oh, did I just turn it off? Yeah, okay. So let's see what mine is here. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. So you can see that little line on the bottom. I don't know, can you guys see it? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna sit down because I don't think this is gonna work here with me doing too much up here. There we go. There we go, now, so that's, we can see the different settings on there now. I don't know, for you guys, it's backwards, it's backwards for me, so it's hard for me to read, reading the screen here. But let's see, we are at, my oxygen level, I guess, is 94. My heart rate is 64. Not sure what the PI is, but that's 3.0, and HRV is 419. One good thing about this is, so now, like, you guys are seeing it that way. If I wanna go this way, you see now it's upside down, like, saw in the instructions just briefly there, if I push the button once, now it goes and it changes the direction. So now it's this way. So watch, I'll show you how I'm talking about. So if I push it, it goes upside down and upside down. So pretty neat. And then I think if I hold down, oh, here, let me push it around here again. If I hold it down, I can do different settings for it. I guess just by pushing on the screen and seeing what I wanna do. So I can go to demo mode. So this is now demoing, so I don't even have to have my finger in there, it's just showing a demo. So, uh, I guess that's something. And then I can do, what does that say, recall? 
setup. So I can do setup. So if I hold it down for a second, then it goes in the setup. I can turn the alarm, beep, restore, and BRI3. I guess these are the different settings for it. So it actually does a whole lot of different stuff for just a pulse oximeter. It's more than just a regular one, absolutely. Um, but it has the different settings on it and it's pretty cool. I like it. So um, for all the different instructions and how it all works and stuff like that, you can see here, I guess the recall will show you some of your previous uh, settings. Um, yeah, lots of different settings on here, different prompts. I love that alarm thingy. I guess we'll set it so it'll make an alarm if your oxygen is too low and stuff. But I like it, so thumbs up from me. It's very cool. It's a fingertip pulse oximeter, so there you go. You got to see the unboxing, and it's nice. It lights up. You can do it in a dark room, and I think turning off the sound or whatever like that if you didn't, if you didn't want to wake somebody up. But I wonder if it works the other way. It looks like it'll work either way. You could probably put your finger on it either way and have it work. So that's kind of cool too. It's got a little, if you, I don't know if you can see inside there. It looks like it's got the little light sensor on the top, one on the bottom too. So pretty cool. At least I think, I mean, I know, I know for sure it worked this way because that's the one I just did. So I like it. Thumbs up. Links in the description to pick one of these up for yourselves. Uh, like this video. Subscribe to my channel. The nice little lanyard too. You get to just Keep it on there. The nurse can just use this, walk around all day and not have to lose it. Um, very good. So, very cool. Thanks for watching. Okay, I'll be back soon. Bye.